One of the modern classics, I think. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, did probably, oh, okay. I guess they didn't have one before. Yeah, so they're going straight into it. Hack's also playing. So the, the story with these two with these two players is, I mean, both of them kind of like staples of the NYC scene for a long time. Um, La Luna, um, formerly known as the Moon. Uh, yeah, that's rough. And, um, you know, been around forever, Marth guy. Um, yeah. Has been doing it for a long time. Hux, formerly a Captain Falcon player. Um, I think a lot of people who are coming into uh, Melee right now might not know that. But um, he sort of had this epiphany mm, in the year ago. 20XX. Yeah, years ago. Everyone will play the character, Fox McCloud. Yeah, and he's sort of um, a lot of the pe things that people use now, like, you know, ledge, perfect ledge dash, all that stuff. He's one who really popularized it and sort of does or dies by that. But um, the other thing is La Luna sort of, his career sort of started based on beating a lot of the Foxes, but... Yeah, and that's the thing, we're, see we're seeing a lot of Marths doing more and more. I mean, you saw that edge guard. Uh, Marth's edge guarding against Fox is one of the strongest uh, in yeah. the game. Marth, probably the most capable character of edge guarding Fox that exists on the character select. Yeah, he's really good. Oh, that was a weird uh, situation. Oh, he missed the up smash, but... Yeah, let's see. But I these mean, juggles on the platform are something that, you know what I mean? Oh. It's like, Marth can reach all these characters on these platforms without much uh, commitment, you know, yeah. with all these up tilts and all these different things. And yeah, Luna's kind of running away with yeah, this. Luna's I mean. definitely running away with it. It's interesting. I mean, and Hax had all these hand problems. He sort of came back on a, on a new controller he, that he invented himself. Yeah, that's Smash. Good box. that he can participate uh, again. But definitely has been um, an adjustment for him. But the fact yeah. that we're seeing him in winners here is really awesome. Yeah. Looks like he sort of struggled on that punish on the top platform because he didn't really do like a tech chase or anything. Yeah. So I couldn't wait to grab. Okay. Let's see. But let's Grand see if cards. I can get a stock on the, on the okay. board. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so I got that off. Oh, oh my he God, got he caught. Oh, that was so scary. And the, the Moon is definitely one of those guys. So Hax is sort of the um, the leader of the technical revolution in Melee that sort of happened in the past several years. Yeah. Uh, in and a lot um, of respects. Yeah, and the Luna's um, 20 BC tag is sort of like... It's like a looking into the past, you know? Yeah, like last uh, oh, oh, okay. Oh, my gosh, the up B. Super crispy. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, you know, he's he, like, plays from the heart. He plays from the soul, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's a lot um, less based around, like, he's not a big fan of the technical sort of play style, I think. Oh, but anyway, yeah, Dreamland is the classic counter pick in this. Um, yeah, in the matchup. Yeah, because Marth doesn't get much on platforms. Although it's kind of, um, I think that perception's kind of changed because Marth's neutral isn't that bad on this stage, but yeah, it's I definitely off to a better start on this. Oh, the stage guard. Yeah, and it's so interesting. So, you know, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, brand new game, get it, has a patch already. But, like, yeah. and Melee, like, unpatched for so many years, people think, well, isn't it all just the same thing all day? But, like, the answer is no. I mean, th this stage used to be considered very poor for Marth, but now yeah. we're seeing Marth players will even counterpick it on occasion and um, are feeling a lot more comfortable. Specifically, the Moon, I think, is one of the more Dreamland oriented Marths. Yeah, um, he really likes um, his space. He's not as um, technical as, say, like, Reshi, for example, another. Um, well, New York City Mars now, he wasn't always, but... Yeah. Hax is um, doing a lot better this game. I guess he's more comfortable with the space. He's also been um, he's also been more like cognizant, like he baited out a grab before with the space down there. Oh, wow, oh. when he catches Hax with the, with the side B uh, in the recovery, really oh. nice. Yeah, I like that uh, Moon didn't try to grab that Nair there, because the Hax hit him with that sort of bait before the space back Nair. And that's the other... Um, that's a weird thing about fighting Hax, too. He's pretty... Um, He's extremely consistent with his ledge play, like his sweet spotting and also his ledge dash. Again, he lives or dies by that. Yeah, like. Yeah, I mean, you saw early on in the first game, um, Hax immediately died off the ledge. I and mean, one of the, one of the things in melee is that jumping off of the ledge is very, very slow and punishable with most characters. Yeah. And so you sort of have to double jump off the ledge, and um, just like you have directional air dodging in ultimate, uh, you can kind of air dodge onto the stage in melee. And, uh, yeah. It's a very um, prominent ledge option, especially for Fox. Okay. Um, and also, that's the first time so far the hack has done the light shield. Um, so what's up with that? Um, yeah, so the light shield edge guard, what it does is if you tilt it, um, Marth basically, he, he, the character who's shielding grabs the ledge before Marth, and you get a free punish when he lands because you have a lot of lag. Ooh, yeah, so you kind of slide off and grab the ledge instantly from the shield. Yeah. Let's see. Oh. That, yeah, I didn't get the, much off that. It's too low percent, yeah. But let's see. Oh, he, that's so funny. La Luna was just standing there, wave dashing in place, waiting for Hax to roll in, but he did not do it, which was very like disciplined. It's very scary. I mean, you want to get back to the center of the stage. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, did like, he jump? I, oh, oh, yeah. I think so. I think that's it. Yeah, okay. that's super nice. Okay. So yeah, this has been um pretty fast paced out of game so far. I mean, not necessarily touch the depth, but when they get cornered, they die. That's happened in Battlefield game. That's sort of what's happening now. Like Hax is getting so, and he's also getting um a lot more combo roll nares. 
Oh, oh got my, the jump. Got the jump, yeah. Okay, but came down, yeah. power shield the fair. Knew it was happening, but I think oh. didn't really get too much. See. Yeah, and the overshoot there is catching the jab. Oh. Yeah, so Amelia, we talk a lot about overshooting, we talk about undershooting. There's sort of this thing where, because you can dash back and forth so freely, you kind of want to aim your air attacks at the back of where people are dashing. But let's see if, oh, okay, get up attack, catch his hacks. Ooh, wow, oh, that's really good ambitious edge guard. Oh, yeah, that didn't work either, but... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she'll break it back. That's also really nice, because so much space on the way down. Right. Let's see, oh no, slow get up on the ledge. Yeah, okay, I think that's it. All right, there we go. So wow, reverse three like, stock. Yeah, reverse three stock. Dude, this is like... I don't know, it's one of those things. I guess Hex uh, feeling very comfortable with all the space, I think. Oh yeah, you know, for sure. The micro is a little bit, like, scary. Yeah, <laughs> um, and also um, Luna was getting a lot of uh, mileage out of the platform. But anyway, Yoshi, that's a good pick. Um, Hacks actually loves this stage, like because he, he's so confident in like his ledge movement and the way Yoshi's. Um, oh wow, then that's it already. That. <laughs> Zero percent. But yeah, the slope on like by the ledge makes it easy to ledge dash, and also Fox can double jump a uh, wave land on the top platform, uh, not the top platform, the side platform. Yeah. So and Hacks like. Oh. Oh, this might be a scary moment too. Jeez, yeah. It's all, it's all, and Fox can also just get so many of these early kills off the top with the low ceiling on this stage. I mean, people, you know, this is a universal thing across all Smash games, but you know, different stages, it's all just rectangles really at the end of the day. Yeah. And, you know, there's there's the square around everything where if you touch it, yeah. the, called the blast zone is when you die. And Yoshi's in particular has very small ones. Oh, that might be death. Oh, the counter. Yeah. So oh, yeah, Randall though. Oh yeah, Randall the rescue club. Let's go. Yeah. Wow, just rinse and repeat. Could, Super clean. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he missed that last one. He got a ledge jump on accident instead of a. Oh wow, no DI in the Nair. Yeah, that's right. The ledge jump is something we jokingly in the Melee community call the tournament winner because it, oh, yeah. it wins the tournament oh my God. for your opponent. Okay. <laughs> Hax. Hax is running away with things right now. Yeah, off the Hax hat. turned that rough game one into a pretty solid. Yeah, uh, cutting <laughs> the momentum. Super back. amazing low Nair. Makes it a lot harder to punish on shield. Yeah, and it's also good. I mean, Hax is an experienced player, so he's not going to let, like, you know, a bad game one sort of ruin him like that. Yeah, and yeah that's what we're talking resilient. about with the, um, the platform movement, right? Oh, I guess Luna was trying to shield drop. He kept getting a uh, sidestep. Yeah, dropping through a platform wall in shield. Yeah. Oh, oh whoa, no. that was rough. That's he, really rough. He might have tried to buffer something and got the Nair. Yeah, but like a ledge get up or something like that. Yeah. Um, sometimes you bounce off of the stage in a funny way and you oh, can sort of end up throwing up an aerial. In a oh, way no FD, huh? Okay. Yeah, the Moon, not really a fan of, of Final Destination. The thing about, so Marth against Fox on FD, the sort of classic counter pick is you go to FD, and you, you chain grab the heck out of them and then they die and yep. they're very sad the whole time. <laughs> um, yeah. But the moon, very notably, one of the few marks in um, the modern era who does not uh, employ that kind of thing. Um, yeah, well, it's all, it could be, um, again, he doesn't want the space because um, Dream, Dreamland, he kind of got... And also, Hack's been getting so much out of Overshoot, like Overshoot Shine, Overshoot Nair. He's just been eating Luna alive with that. Yeah. And... Um, he might just not be confident in the chain grab oh, as much. Such patience and shield there from the moon, from La Luna. La Luna. Let's see, where's he at? Oh, wow, oh. slides to the ledge. Yeah. Actually saved him a lot. Oh, it's shield, either shield stab or he caught him jumping, but yeah. that should be dead no matter. Mm. Yeah, for instance, repeat. Next one will probably be up air kill if he gets it, but... Oh, wow. Okay. I think he, thought he sort of next leveled himself there a little bit. Yeah. With he, the up timing. He yeah, sort of got pineapple. It's like you, you, when, you, when you get caught under the stage like that, more yeah. of a dreamland thing because it actually <laughs> looks like a pineapple. But, uh, yeah. Similar concept on that. Oh, okay, oh. so that shine was dangerous because it hit him airborne, and then when he got hit by a move um, that does knock you down in the air, uh, you land with no stun. So that's why Luna's able to get that grab, but he didn't get too much off it. Oh, wow, the jump shine really oh. nice. Catches, uh, that might be that. Oh, he didn't oh. get the light shield, so yeah. he couldn't get the light hog. But... Oh, wow, jump, jab shine really smart. Oh, I think he jumped for the. Oh, did he? Not even get a proper landing state. Yeah, so I think he caught him out of the air. And you yeah. know, some, something you'll see a lot. Oh, oh that was no DI on really that. Yeah, no DI. <laughs> that was rough. Yeah, that was that was super rough. Um, but it's kind of funny, like you know, there's all these yeah. things like DI and melee, especially it combines with the fall, uh, the fast fall speed of a lot of the characters. Yeah. To really get these like exaggerated like angles when you know DI. Um, yeah, because fog falls so fast. So. Yeah. Um, oh, interesting. He tried. I think he went for another game, but. Um, you oh, crossed wow. him up really back funny. Dash attack. Let's see. Oh, it's because I feel like Hax there. hasn't been getting as many grabs, but he's been getting so many. I mean, not necessarily neutral, but he's been getting so many, like. Oh, oh amazing counter. So oh, he catches him. Back air. Yeah, Luna actually yeah. loves doing that. He's one He's one of the people who sort of started doing that. I mean, he didn't invent that or anything, but he does that more than other marks. 
Oh wow, a really good edge go too. Hex is such good. Hex is so good at timing these ledge get ups against Marth. It's one of those things that because he has such a gigantic sword, just like coming up, and it's so quick, yeah. and there's so many different timings at which it can happen. It's very difficult to cover the whole thing. Right. Um, but Hex is really strong at that. And I think it's it's one of those oh, things that makes him really good at the matchup. Spot dodge. Spot dodge. Yeah, uh, so when I barely got out of there, it's like yeah. drop narrow. Did he jump? I think he jumped. Oh, this might be it. Yeah. Down air. Yeah, okay. that's it. Game five. Yeah, game five. Yeah. Luna coming up, coming in there with a Ken combo. This set's kind of oh, been going oh, really oh, fast. It's already game five. I know it's kind of like, crazy. Yeah, this is like this is it's just back and forth. I mean, who knows? Like, I think they honestly like I could see these two going back to battlefield. I think yeah, that's sort uh, of like Hacks the type of loves that, that stage. Um. I think it might happen, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so this is sort of a New York classic, honestly. In addition yeah. to being a melee classic, you know, sometimes people will sit down and they'll be like, hey, like, want to wanna just go to Battlefield? Yeah. Like, around here especially, they'll be like, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think that also <laughs> shows that Hacks feels like he didn't lose because of the stage. He, like, you can see cl clearly from the Dreamland game on, he's been so much more comfortable with, like, overshooting versus Luna. Yeah, it's he's really been nice. getting so much more hits. Oh, wow, just, like, dashing away. Dash, yep. <laughs> and Hacks is also, um... He keeps a very tight movement overall. Like he does, he doesn't really extend his dash or anything like that. And like Luna felt kind of cornered there because of that. Like Hax just stayed in the center. Like he's aggressive, but he doesn't really extend, overextend rather. Mm -hmm. oh, let's see. Oh, a little Press bit too low cancel. percent to get a nice, uh, yeah. nice pop up there from La Luna. Oh, he smashed the eye of the drill. He might have been able to get grabbed, but he got punished for it. Yeah. Ooh, amazing air dodge. Okay, he grabs the ledge. Oh, that's clean. And drop down to grab. Oh wow! Okay, super, uh, super interesting. Like double jump, they're very high up yeah. to sort of throw off. I mean, I think Hacks thought that Laluna was gonna go low, and uh, he sort of makes them up there. Ooh, oh, oh my god, that was so, that was such good DI by Hacks. Wow, oh, nice read. Yeah, he might have missed the short, but the that's still a good mix up because Hacks like it's almost a meme how often he goes for the ledge. Yeah, it's very scary. It's like. I don't know, man. It's, yeah. it's so interesting. I guess, like, you know, people talk about the ledge in Melee and they say, you know, oh, it's uninteractive because you can grab it and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And it edges oh, people, that could but be that. Like this will happen, yeah. Yeah, that looks like... And that's, that's current. <laughs> like, three just hits. in the blink of an eye, like, three hits. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you, got, know, you, you got, got sloppy thing. around the ledge and uh, he paid for it. Yeah. Oh, is that Phantom there? Yeah, Phantom there. Oh, when that was when interesting. When barely touch, uh, you, get, you don't get knocked back at all, and that's something that just happened there. Yeah. That's interesting, like... Yeah. Roll to shine because it's kind of awkward for Mars to deal with if he doesn't want to grab because it's so risky for him to grab. Yeah, because if they get shined, oh it's, it's all over. Yeah. Marth sort of, um, because of his weight, when Fox shines him on the ground, he sort of just slides like a sad, <laughs> slippery creature. Just vulnerable to all kinds of up smashes, all yeah. kinds of grabs. Oh, no oh jump. Oh my god, amazing yeah. aerial shine. Oh, let's see. And he rolls up at ama yeah. amazing time to be able to get the grab after. Okay, but that's a good forward throw. I hit or combo the out of the up throw. Yeah, let's see. And Fox. So, oh, Luna's doing good. At, yeah, he sort of forced his way in. Wow, amazing. That drill was insane. Just like the yeah. tiny little tiptoes. Mm -hmm. Is yeah, he going to go out there? Oh, no. He, no, he faked it, okay. but Luna sort of called him on it. Yeah, with the forward air. Super good of a Luna. Oh, oh, it chases him down. I think this might be... Uh, oh, that, okay. Yeah, it could have been off smash, but... Yeah, and he just... It's so funny. Like, Hax will just throw the, throw the opponent off stage, and you'll see so many Foxes go for up their stuff at that percent. Yeah, because uh, there's a lot of setups against Marth. Like, he has a hard time in um, like that awkward situation. He has options, but... Yeah. Oh, oh, shine, shine grab. grab. That's the first time he did that so I far. Think, I, I think La Luna might have lost his jump, but okay, he lands again. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Dang, that's oh, that's that so sucks. unfortunate. <laughs> that sucks so much. Yeah. That's really unfortunate. Sometimes... Yeah. Okay, so 